hello, hello, hello. Here we are on Marty and Chris live 2.0. We didn't, we couldn't do enough on, on the first one. Actually, I want to tell you a story. What happened was I text Ash early, early, early because we were coming on at one. I thought, eh, who knows? Maybe he'll come in and want to surprise, surprise. I want to surprise Chris, really. And we got on and started. I figured he's too busy anyway. While we were on the live, he said I can come at three. So we made a new uh, live. That's exactly what happened. No more, no less. But I'm glad he's coming. Anyway, to, to go through what we had talked to earlier, uh, I talked about, and I'm going to go through this really quick. If you're looking on passive like a um, assembly line, like where Chris worked, you have specialists through this whole line. Uh, an actual dashboard is like a, a computer now. It's not like a Model T. All these things take precision. And you've got experts along the way, along with cute quality control, quality assurance, supervisors, managers, QA checking it, and then it rides out the front door. All that, all that, when you get the car, you have the key, you put gas in it, and you drive. This is unpassable. All that work is being done by the company, by Mr. Mufara. None of that did we have to do. And, and trust me, when you're marketing, like I did or tried to, you uh, you have to do all that work. And it's a moving target. And you're not getting any help. It's just you're doing it on your own. And even if you manage to, to push out a Volkswagen, you've got to now try to get other people to do the same thing you did. It's impossible. Anyway, 98%, 99% of everything about on passive in the company is done for us. There's something we can work on here and here. Four inches decides if you can or you can't. It's the, it's the inches between your ears. No more, no less. An example, and I said this earlier, I'm gonna be quick because Ash just popped on, is I hear people do a New Year's resolution. And here's the words they say. I'm gonna try to quit smoking. I'm going to try to quit drinking. I'm going to try to lose weight. They'll never do it. Why? They give themselves an out. I'm going to try means I am not going to make it. Come on out. When I drank, I drank too much. When I worked, I worked too much. And when I ate, freaking obvious what happened there. But anything I did, and I smoked years ago, 20 years ago. But when you quit, you have to tell yourself, I'm done. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I'm gonna, you don't give yourself an AF. And what worked for me is I did day by day. Now, all we have, and this is the most valuable thing, is time and your own mind. You're in charge of your mind. And your mindset needs to know that at the end of this conveyor, after this massive thing is built and that car comes out, we're talking a Rolls Royce with a Lamborghini engine. Well, I never heard of that. Nobody's ever heard of Unpassive either. Okay, you're getting something you've, nobody's ever gotten. If you if you get this, and because you're focused on stuff you have no control over, you're going to jump in that pig and treat it like a Volkswagen Beetle. What a waste. I'm not saying you have to code. You don't. You have to do anything like that. Learn the business and work on you because I'm telling you, when success starts to enter, whether it's $5 or $50 or $500. I'm not kidding. When, when you see a positive, you're going to walk a little taller. You're going to have a little skip to your walk. And people will approach you because success is radiant. I'm not talking about success, just money. If you believe in yourself and you walk like that and you're proud of who you are, People want to be around people like that. Now, you could ruin it if you got a mouth and you don't know what to say. A lot of times it's better listening, right? You notice I talk more than I listen. But no, really, I try to listen to people to understand. So what you want to do is be ready for what's coming out. Step out of your comfort zone. I can only give an example from me. I know I didn't read a bunch of books about it, but I know how it works. And it did it to me. I was horrible in school. I hated school. I was bored to death. Went out to work, like I said, started off in a company, and I looked at how can you make money? How can you make more? And the only way is to move up. In my company, they said, you can't go past this level without college. 
And I said, yes, I can. To me. To me. And I wrote it down. I'm going to be a supervisor at 25. I'm going to be the manager at 30. And I'm going to be don't have the company manager then and then the rest is history. I did them all. Why? Because I believed it. This, it I, I'm, I, I know this sounds crazy, but you have to believe. For one thing is people say, well, I can't do that. And I'm not that person. I'm not. Nobody asked you to be me. There's no reason to be me. There's no reason to be Chris. But I've met people through this shine the light. And I know it's doing a lot for you. And we're getting loads of people. I just got one today from China. From China. And guess what that's doing? When you shine the light on others, and I've said this before, when you focus on others and lift them above yourself, the reflection back is much brighter than what would happen if you bragged about yourself or built your own self up. This, I'm just telling you from my experience. So work on you. And, and I'll tell you something else. If you walk out out of your comfort zone, you take that one step. Yeah, your knees are knocking and you could throw up and crap your pants. But do it again. It's not quite as hard. Do it again. It's even a little easier. The day will come where it's almost a drug to push yourself. This is for me personally. Anyway, I just wanted to run that through real quick. I just want people to work on what you can. Too many people focus on, well, what about this? And what about, well, you can't do anything about it. And if you either trust, you either trust the company and ask me for it and, and what's going on, or you don't. And by the way, the newest person to Unpassive has been here 28 months. If you don't know the, what the, what who Ash is and what his ambitions are, you've got a major issue. I don't think you could go to somebody and get that. It's very basic. Through all the crap that happened, we don't even know what happened. I visualized smoke and fire and somebody walked through the middle of that and it was Ash Mufaro. You know why? You know what his way out was? Do or die. I learned a lot from that. When he first said it, I didn't like it. But then I realized Ash put no no return. This is where I'm going. No matter what happens, I'm going that way. If he can do that and build this vehicle that we're going to have in this golden toolbox, we got to do 2%. And learn how to drive the car, put the key in, and turn it. Anyway, I had to get that on my system because I was drank a lot of coffee. Do you, uh, Chris, would you like to say something before I invite the man on? Yes. Just real quick, because I love putting him in hold for a minute. Uh, he's in the green room, but he's he's eating well. Yeah. He's drinking the champagne water we left him. <laughs> I hope not too much. Uh, yeah. I just, because we have a better, bigger audience, I said this earlier, I want to shout out some prayers um, absolutely for Robin Noble. Robin Noble, excuse me. Peter Rogers just sent me a lovely story of what's going on with him. Me too. Pray to Peter. Elsie Patch, mom passed away yesterday. Please send your condolences to her and our love to you, Elsie. Uh, condolences from the Impassive family. Liz Leary is going through some tests for their heart. Uh, we're praying that we uh, the doctors find good news for you, Liz. Daryl Cook's brother is now in hospice, as you heard the other day before. Pray for the strength for his family. And Dane and Darius Edwards are both fighting cancer. Cindy Hopkins, Rob Gorman, Everyone else that I have been talking about for the last couple of weeks, pray for them. Definitely pray for the Mafara family and the team. Absolutely pray for me and Marty. We love prayers. And I want to thank anyone that's got a birthday. Willow Griffith, Willow Griffith happy birthday. Key Wendell, happy birthday. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of birthdays today. I know those two personally. So God bless you both. Now we can bring on this, uh, this guy who's drinking all my champagne in the back room. Ash Mafara, come on out. All right, now I'm going to figure out what button to push. Oh, you got to be kidding me, Marty. No, I got to calm down. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mafara. Thank you hey. so much for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you having me. Time. I appreciate it. I felt cool. lonely here. Uh, <laughs> uh, perhaps I appreciate the, you know, presence here and uh, your attendance uh, quite good and the reason this happened uh, it was unscheduled uh, I had no plan I'm gonna do this today but I had uh, some great uh, progress I felt 
pumped. I couldn't, you know, help myself but just to say, I want to see you. I want to interact with you a little bit uh, and see what can I share with you. Uh, so I appreciate uh, the uh, attendance here because I'm going to make it worth it. We're not going to be here for a while. I asked uh, for this, so thank you. Uh, as you know, we have been working tirelessly to bring up uh, the business back and uh, communicate about the next steps. And with the discussion of some of the leaders, we have agreed that uh, it is better to come through the uh, formal channel, which is the company and uh, all of us here in the community. Uh, so because that time has uh, come now and we are going to go back and communicate through the uh, ecosystem. I just wanted to give you the heads up. So this is what will be happening. I don't expect everybody is going to listen to this, but those who would listen to it, try to share the message accurately and transparently. OK, uh, the bottom line is we're coming back. We're going to reopen doors and we're going to take you to the next steps. This is the bottom line. And the bottom line is we're going to come back and have a turnaround or a comeback phase that will thrill you. I am responsible for this and it's going to be much better, more secured, more protected, much bigger, and indeed to where we're supposed to be. This is where we belong long time ago. Problems happen, no big deal. It doesn't crush us, make us stronger, and we move on to the next thing. So just um, on time, as predicted, OK, I uh, already have access to the ecosystem, admin and uh, users. Uh, there were some modifications about the rollout, uh, you know, because we're going to have new data, old data, all of that. So there's so much in the pipeline, in the discussion on the table right now, without getting into the details and, you know, give you a headache. We have strategi strategized the rollout to make it as simple as possible. But to be more accurate, we're going to be logging into the ecosystem soon. I'll tell you exactly when. OK. And then we'll give you the proper notification. So it's not going to be on a random webinar here and there as much as we love to be in there, but those are not official. OK, now we're going back in house to communicate uh, promptly. So here's what's going to happen. One is regardless of how we're going to do this, step number one, we're going to reopen the ecosystem so you can log in. And the main on passive.com, we're going to turn it into the ecosystem login page. When you see that, so you can go to onpassive.com, you're going to see a website design now, right? A page, landing page. When you go there and see the login page, you should be able to log in. There's so much going on behind the scene. I cannot share that with you. You're going to understand later. It's not like forever, but at the moment, I'm unable to share that why and, and how and all of that. But you will know in time. For now, tomorrow is Friday, the 4th of October. Just about any day after that, OK, any day, meaning Saturday, you go, you see the login page there, you can log in. Done. We're going to give you the pop up. We're going to communicate with you. What's next? OK. And that's it. So I don't want to get into a lot of details and mechanics, 
let's not bother about the mechanics, functionality, don't ask questions. In fact, I just asked the team to disable the uh, uh, ODESC or the uh, ticketing system. So let's not do that. We're not gonna register new people, nor pre, nor paid. Okay, just log in your profile and not the immediate thing. It could happen tomorrow, it could happen Saturday, Sunday, anytime it could happen when you log in. Step number one, log in, back. Step number two, your profile is populated perfectly. So anything I'm not mentioning, don't worry about it. So don't tell me, oh, I, I cannot send a ticket. I didn't mention it. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me I'm not able to register. Don't tell me, oh, my O connect. Don't tell me my this wall. Okay. So step number one, log in. Say thank you. Step number two, profile populated. All right. Thanks again. Step number three, my team in place and for my wallet. When you see all that, that's gonna happen, not all at once. As I said them, not in the exact order, but within the next couple of days, this will start rolling out. Okay? And then you pay attention to the news and updates. And we will, um, you know, keep you posted in there. Let me mention something. Our website went down the last part of, uh, and I'm saying the ecosystem, the dashboard, the systems, uh, end of June. Uh, we just finished uh, September. September was supposed to be the last uh, month or biggest, September 1st, end of August, was supposed to be the expiration of the foundership access, like we were supposed to kill that because of what happened. We're going to compensate and, and keep all founders open and we're going to keep the ecosystem and we're going to give you, obviously, as we always do, more bonuses and more extras while we transition into the next phase. You follow me? All right. It was very simple. On Passive.com, okay, nothing there. The website, next step, you're able to log in. Just be happy with that. That's all you need to do. Follow the pop-up. Step number two, the uh, uh, profile, as I said, wallet, team. We're going to talk about some insane scenarios. Somebody's going to log in and going to come and say, you know what, in 2000, 21 this was my url this was my you know link or whatever it said not happening details all that don't drive me crazy okay we're gonna keep it really plain simple don't tell me about links don't tell me about numbers don't tell me about that very simple we're gonna take you this smooth transition is gonna be a major transformation to your business to our collective journey you're going to be blown away. Just one thing at a time. I'm going to keep it simple. The genius is to turn something complicated into simple. And if I tell you all the complicated things that we have to deal with, you have you definitely will say, we've got no chance. But follow us and have faith. Your wallet, you could bury it, not just put it away, okay? You don't need to pay anything, relax, so you have no reason not to believe. So no money is required, uh, no organs donation is required, right? Everybody stay sound, nothing. And just be grateful for what to come. That's all I wanted to say today. So we're coming back. Bigger, better than ever. That was powerful. <clears throat> That's very good. You said a lot. You said a lot. Thank you very much. 
Very simple, too. Very Can simple. Go to back understand. to my snack in the green room. Yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, some I'm of the starving stuff. there. <laughs> I bet. He, he got no AC condition there. No, 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 no air I told you, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> I told I you. It smells bad here. <laughs> <laughs> See that little no bucket? Food. That little no bucket AC. in the corner, Ash. That's not a garbage can. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Smells bad, yeah. What do you have there, dead body? <laughs> um, real quick, Mr. Ash, I don't mean to knock your great news. I just was informed that Caroline Mackey's mother also passed away yesterday. Our condolences to you, uh, Mrs. Mackey. And I forgot Chloe, Julie Pierre's daughter, who's still fighting that that tumor. Please put yeah. them in your prayers, please. Yeah. Wow. We know a lot of people, we love a lot of people, but we hear a lot of bad news too. That, yeah. that, that goes with it. So, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We'll, we'll march ahead. Anyway, thank you, Ash. And everybody, remember, remind everyone no speculation. Just come in and look at the video. It's there. Yeah. It's very simple. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You don't want to go on. Hey, this isn't working. Remember, you go in, log in, check your profile, check your wallet, check your team. Keep your not, pants on. Not like all at once. No, no, right. It's going to go within a few days. Yeah. Log in is the first step. Step number one is get right. in the house. Okay. Take a breath. Say thank you. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Thank that, you. That's that's optional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say it ahead of time. Yeah. Thank you, Ash. We really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you very and, much. And and you know, don't pay attention to this temporary you know, kind of like bridge, okay? But uh, we have the faith this will take us to where we, we belong or where we, where we want to be, okay? We cannot say everything at once because, I get, again, we want to keep it simple. Log in. It's done, accomplished. Now we're just about to make those uh, things. And the reason we did that is because we had other... Um, I would say strategic decisions to take. Okay, we we want to make sure that we play this in the best possible scenario, and the best part for those who understand is we were able to recover the business out of nothing. When you know the story, you're going to be uh, definitely astonished by how uh, talented is our tech team and how we're able to technically out of out of a thin air, we were able to bring the business back. Awesome. I can't awesome. wait. Yes, indeed. All right. This will get exciting. And uh, sorry about the <clears throat> bad news. Listen, I've had the toughest year in, in my life. And, and it looks like every month is things are increasing. I choose not to share all the details, but there's death in the family. There's it's a chaotic situation. Uh, we we've got to do what we've got to do. Like you got to do what you got to do because uh, we uh, we have a limited time on on this uh, planet, and uh, we want to make it count. It's uh, it's Amen. an obligation. Absolutely. I feel like we have to make it count. Uh, I heard you, brother. I heard you talking about you know how you should be clear on specifically where you want to go if you allow me i would love to share with you uh where i want to go clearly absolutely uh number one i want to look as good as chris johnson <laughs> oh, no. i have no plan for that no competition okay uh, but very very clearly and and this is exactly what I believe, okay, when I'm 55, figure out how old I am, okay? When I'm 55, I believe this planet is gonna have more prosperity, okay? More people have access to more, to, to a better, a higher financial uh, position in their life. I believe there's gonna be more health, access to a healthier lifestyle. And I am so concrete, we're going to have better access to education. So we're going to have a more educated, when I'm 55, I believe we're going to get into a new era where we have this global population, the 8 billion living people now, they're going to have better. And from there and on, it starts 
increasing. Okay, better education, better health. I do concretely believe that we're going to minimize all the corruption, the criminality around the globe, and all the violence and oppressed and all of that. Hopefully, more peace. Hopefully, more love and harmony and unity all across the globe. Okay, because we have better, more positive things to be busy with than you know, kind of like biting each other, okay, or fighting or competing or whatever reason is. So I do believe I'm going to contribute to a better world. This is my pledge. I, I do believe that. Now, this sounds like insane, delusional. Anybody who am I? I'm not a country. I'm not like a, a whole continent. I'm an individual. I know what I'm talking about. I have the details. I have the blueprint. I have the exact roadmap. And I tell you, we are going to be way way better off like we're going to be a better off place okay just in a couple of years from now that gives you some of the math uh starting this year obviously okay this journey is going to take us to that uh uh you know state of of you know our humanity uh, there is more details but in a nutshell if you believe there is hope and and working together we can get to that if that matters to you join us lock arm with us okay and we will get there together there's absolutely there's absolutely a possibility to everything when we're united when we're together and 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 go above the nonsense okay so um like i just said life is too short it's not worth it to be busy with the nonsense and we want to make it count i believe when i'm 55 mark my word Put this somewhere, anywhere you want. Take it. This planet is going to be much better. All right? For those who choose to ride along, to be on the journey, obviously. If somebody's going to be like, you know, uh, blabbing or, or uh, kind of like resisting, yeah, it's a choice. Uh, we cannot force everybody to... Uh, have that prosperity with us. But I believe we're going to have opportunity. We're going to have options. We're going to have those possibilities uh, and remove all the, hopefully, uh, minimize all the other catastrophes. Okay. I'm talking about man made stuff. Okay. The unfairness or injustice that is going on is mostly due to finances or uh, some greed or whatever it is. So let's, let's, you know, be accountable, remind me, and, and, you know, you can ask me anytime you want. And as we go back and reopen the business and communicate more and spend more time together, I am extremely passionate about sharing all those uh, with you, all, all those uh, dreams, aspirations, and, uh, you know, how we, we can get there. And if you see yourself a, a fitting individual, so we can contribute to that beautiful marvelous uh, uh you know goal uh then welcome aboard uh, this is not just a business this is not just like okay this is another website or whatever it is no this is a life-changing uh journey this is a direction that uh it's worth to die for i'm telling you all right you have a good one. I see you on the inside. I can say that real soon. <laughs> Very good. Thank, thank you, Mr. Mepper. I mean that. Thank you for my amazing wife and kids, brother. Tom, yeah. thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. And tell the, tell the team thank you very much. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we will do. Thank you. Uh, well, there you have it. <laughs> all right all right let's go thank you everybody you heard it. it's pretty exciting this watch wow. the video before you go saying stuff make yeah, sure yeah. you're saying exactly what ash is saying he did tell you that and don't worry about the little stuff he'll take care of that 